With the hiring of Eric Washington as the Chicago Bears next defensive coordinator, it makes this free agency mock draft a little more interesting considering Washington was one of the best coaches over the last decade in developing front sevens on defenses and a lot of his former players who are still young enough are hitting free agency along with his friend Tremaine Edmonds who he helped develop in Buffalo is already in Chicago making it an interesting move for Ryan Pulse to potentially bring some of Washington's guys into the franchise. Hello everyone and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde and as always thank you for tuning in. Welcome to this episode of Free Agency Mock Friday 4.0. The Bears have another big off season ahead for you guys and I am super pumped about it because the Bears have over 47 and a half million dollars in cap this upcoming off season and that's before roster cuts which can put them close to 70 million. Ryan Paul is going to make a lot of moves. He's made some great moves so far in free agency along with the draft, and he's going to continue to build this roster. And before I get into more, if you think the first move that Ryan Poles needs to do over the next couple of weeks, honestly, he should have done sooner, is re-signing Jalen Johnson to a contract extension. Make sure to hit that like button to show your support. Comment who you want the Bears to bring in in free agency. And as always, if you please could, hit that subscribe button with notifications to stay up to date on all Chicago Bears content. So let's kick things off with who I am going to be cutting if I were Ryan Poles. And I'm starting off with safety Eddie Jackson, who if we cut him, we will owe some dead money to, but we are going to save $12.14 million in cap. Jackson has not been playing up to his contract, in my personal opinion. He has been great for the Chicago Bears in the past, but the Bears do need to repay Johnson, and I think he's more deserving of that type of contract. Followed by that, but another big cut that I'm going to make is center Cody Whitehair, who the Bears would have to owe a little bit more in dead cap, but would save about $8.75 million this offseason. And after just those two cuts alone, which Ryan Poles may make a couple more, the Bears would have about $70 million in cap. So if I'm sticking in internally in re-signing players. The first guy that I'm going to re-sign is defensive back Jalen Johnson, who played out of his mind the last couple of seasons, especially this season. He had four interceptions in 2023 for the Chicago Bears, along with 10 pass deflections, and his QBR when he was targeted was less than 40. One of the best defensive backs in football this past season. Bears need to lock him down considering he is only 24 years old, could be on the roster for a long time, and be a leader of this team. I really like Jalen Johnson's mentality, his leadership, and how he carries himself on and off the field, and I think he'd be a great asset to keep around. Followed by that, I am re-signing cornerback Josh Blackwell to a one-year, $1 million contract. The special teams guru was fantastic for the Chicago Bears the last couple of seasons. A great locker room guy, a great overall teammate, and also he's a good depth piece for this defense. He knows how Iberfus' defense works. He's able to work quickly in it, and he steps up when needed. Would love to see Josh Blackwell come back to this team. And also starting my live stream series this upcoming Tuesday night. And there's a very special guest we're having on that night. I, just a little bit of him for you guys. And then finally, I am re-signing long snapper Patrick Scales to what his contract currently is at $1.3 million. I'm signing him to a one-year contract. Great locker room guy. He's not doing anything wrong. Stays on the field. Would love for him to stay around. That leaves me with roughly $47.7 in cap entering free agency after re-signing my own players. And before I get into more of who I want to sign in free agency for the Chicago Bears, let me run through a little bit what I plan on doing in the draft. For my last mock draft video that dropped on Monday, make sure that you go check that out, guys. Would really appreciate it. I drafted Roma Duze at wide receiver two because I traded back the number one overall pick. Along with that, I took a three-tech defensive tackle in Jerzon Newton from Illinois. So I addressed those two needs right there. And I took center Cedric Van Pran from Georgia. And and then also safety Jaden Hicks. Those two last guys replace Eddie Jackson and Cody Whitehair. Two big players on rookie contracts that your instant plug and plays would be great in this defense. But it still leaves me to address edge running back one, in my opinion. That's a 
debatable subject, but I think the Bears do need to go out and get a big running back one and tight end too. So I'm going to put 12 million aside for my rookies that I'm going to be signing this upcoming offseason, which leaves me with about $36 million. The first guy I am signing out of free agency is Brian Bird's edge uh, from Carolina. The 6'5", 250 pound, 25 year old was the 16th overall pick in the 2019 NFL draft by the Panthers out of Florida State University, where he kicked off his career with Eric Washington, our now defensive coordinator. He's a two-time Pro Bowler, 46 total sacks, 246 total tackles, 95 quarterback hits, 59 tackles for loss, 13 pass deflections, 8 forced fumbles, and 2 fumble recoveries. And this past season, he did not slow down. He had 8 sacks, 50 total tackles, 18 quarterback hits, 2 pass deflections, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. A very impressive last season on a Carolina team that was just not doing well at all. He still was a bright star. This past season, he had a 75.3 pass rush grade along with an 11.2 pass rush win rate and a 57.7 run defensive grade. A big, fast, aggressive edge that has worked with Washington. It could be an instant plug and play for this defense. Also is the guy that you pair with Montez Sweat for the next couple of years. Those two on each side of the line would be dominant and a crazy duo to have for years to come. I would sign him on the lower end to a four-year 88 million dollar contract which about 22 million per year hopefully he takes a discount to come be with dj more again along with eric washington throw some incentives in there and that leaves me about 18 million left then i'm going out and signing running back derrick henry to a two-year 20 million dollar contract the 30 year old 6'3 247 pound running back was drafted at 45 out of alabama in 2016 a four-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, 119 total games with 88 starts, has nearly 10,000 rushing yards over his career, 90 rushing touchdowns, and a 4.7 yard per carry average. This past year for the Titans, he played in all 17 games, and he had a little over 1,100 yards, 12 rushing touchdowns, and a 4.2 yard per carry average, making him one of the best backs in the league. Big, tough, physical runner that the Chicago Bears need in order to fill in for Deontay Foreman. And honestly, that two-year, $20 million contract that's predicted from A to Z Sports, I really think that's a good price. You plug him in, you have him teach Rashawn Johnson. Also, you can take a running back next year. And hey, like, why not? The Bears could be a very good team this upcoming year. The offensive line is still growing and learning. They need a running back out there that can just bulldoze over defenders. And Derrick Henry is that guy. And then finally, actually, I'm thinking of Shane Woldrum with this signing, but I'm bringing in tight end Noah Fant. The 6'4", 249-pound, 26-year-old was taken out of Iowa at pick 20 in 2019 where this past season he had 414 total receiving yards with a 12.3 yard per catch average, a career high, a big strong tight end that can block, but also plays like a wide receiver, very athletic, very mobile, and also knows Shane Waldron's offense could be a great piece to have in order to get everyone on the same page. And they have him projected at a three-year, $18 million contract. I have $17 million left. So overall, I have a little bit over a million dollars left in cap, and I think he'd be a great asset to this roster. I'm sure that that's spreading myself super thin, but I, I do expect us to have a really big draft and keep a lot of players that are on the roster last year. So not a ton of new players coming in, but at the same time, you never know what Ryan Poles is going to do in free agency. But if you enjoyed this video and you agree with some of the players or all of them, make sure you throw your comments in the comment section below. Again, please hit the like button on this video. And as always, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all Chicago Bears news and content. But with that, thank you as always for tuning in to just another year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Rodian. As always, bear down, baby.